Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, wait, my orthodontist because I know it's tightening. I'm probably gonna be getting like the power chains, the elastics and stuff. I'm really nervous, so I made sure I had, you know, like a good breakfast this morning and I took two Advils on my way here. So, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. I do wanna talk to them about maybe seeing if I can switch the top to metal. I mean, yeah, to metal, because as you guys remember, I got clear on the top metal on the bottom you guys the top row of my teeth look so yellow and it's like it's not even my teeth it's the braces i don't even think like it does, the camera does not do it justice okay the top row of my teeth look yellow and obviously that's not cute so i'm kind of over it i had curry once and wasn't even worth it and my braces were already actually staining before that too so but yeah um, i'm a little late for my appointment so <laughs> i'm gonna go and i'll see you guys after let's hope the pain's not that bad and hopefully like i know like my mouth's gonna be restricted because of the elastics and stuff but anyways yeah i'll see you guys when i'm done my appointment so all right guys i am back from my appointment it's not that bad right now i was telling you guys that i wanted to change to metal at the top and she's like those are just the the bands so after the actual put on like the squares like the braces they put on these bands so it's the clear bands that were stained from the food not the actual like brace square so now i have i did color so you guys can see i did light blue i really like it or baby blue i really 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 okay we get it sis i really fuck with this color i really like it and on the bottom i just had metal like i didn't have anything on so that is why they were staining so i mean now i'm not eager to change to metal like it's whatever i guess my teeth definitely don't look as yellow as before thank god when she was removing the bands it's so uncomfortable because it's like tugging it's like you're going like in this motion on your teeth so it's pulling in all directions also so she said i'm not ready for any power chains or elastics yet everyone's teeth shift differently at different times so it's kind of like you go in they'll let you know if you're ready for it so i wasn't ready for that i'm really feeling my skin right now like i look i look pretty I've been feeling like shit, so this is like a good feeling. I don't feel any pain right now. I do feel a little bit of pressure. I did take two Advils before my appointment. I'm pretty sure I told you guys that. So I am going to stop at Henry's because this camera now that I have is um, the screws. I hate this camera. I love this camera, but I hate it because it's so fragile. So I'm gonna see if they can like fix anything. I don't know what they can do. And then I'm going to go to my mom's house because my grandma has some soup for me that she already made. So, um, yeah. Honestly, I called her and I was like, can you make soup? Because I'm getting my braces tight. And like, you guys know I'm dramatic. I guess um, I should be prepared. So, no hard food for the next few days. Awesome. I'm not complaining, but like, Y'all know, when I first got my braces, honestly, I just stayed drug not drugged up, like, that's not good to say, but, um, the minute I would start feeling the pressure, not even the pressure, like, the aching and the soreness on my gums from the braces, I would pop an Advil, because I did not want to feel that shit, because I started getting, like, cranky, and then, like, when I start eating, it's, like, sore, like, mm, none of that. Yum, yum, yum. I don't know why I was assuming it was chicken. She did turkey this time. Got the soup with turkey, sweet potato, dumpling. Yes. Hey guys, it's the next day. Sorry I didn't finish or continue vlogging. Um, I just had a smoothie when I got home because my mouth really started to hurt. They're sore right now, but they don't they don't hurt as bad as I was expecting it to. And um, I haven't had any Advil or anything today, so. By the way, my mouth is still sore, but um, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Like, I'm about to struggle to eat this. And it's so worth it. So, yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> hey. We are ready. 
Um, got glammed. I'm gonna shoot some content. Dana's so small and I'm so tall. Literally, we're like, I should have brought my hand out. Guys. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Take a shot before we go. Yes, loosen up a bit. Yeah, loosen up a bit. Um, I'm shooting two outfits today for my Instagram. Hold on. This is I didn't get to wax my underarms, so I'm just gonna try to stay like this. They both did not wax our underarms, so it's not a lot. This is this is not a shot. It just looks like that because the ice cream tell me. It is a shot. Guys, this is not a shot. Look how look how look how bit that is, dog. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We're gonna take this. I hate. No, I need juice though. You know me. I don't I like drinking juice. So I need something to just wash it down. Needs that juice. Do you want me to take that one then? Yeah. And go take these content. Get this content booming, booming. Period. Cheers, babe. Cheers to the sex. <laughs> I haven't even the had sex that she's about to have. What the hell did you just say? Cheers no. to the sex. I heard sex. I tried to say successful, but <laughs> my mouth had other plans. She's lying, guys. Cats. Anyways, <laughs> cheers to a successful shooting day. Let's get some bomb content in today. Bomb. Here, Cheers, babe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She got that body wave. She want that Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> that 28 inch bitch. Yes. Maybe. It's actually past your ass, girl. <laughs> Men's are black cousin. <laughs> Saved all three. Wow. <laughs> Real ones know who it is right now. Hey, Vivi, that's why he thinks oh. women like her. You're right. You're right. Wow, she actually. I is. told you. Oh my God. Uh, Take wow. care. Nice to see you. God bless you guys. Be you careful. live in Toronto? No, hell no. I live in LA. Okay. Where okay. Where you stay? I live here. I'm from here. You better. Yes. Let me get that door. Thank you. Have a good night. God bless you. You, you too. Yeah. Good night. Take care. You guys, that's the guy from Spy Kids. Is it? Yeah. I didn't know who it was. From, I don't remember his name, but he's from Spy Kids. He's the uncle. I from my song yeah, inside. I'm, him I'm like, I know, you know, you know him too. I know he's famous. Huh? You know him too. Good morning, you guys. Oh my god, I just burned my pepper. I'm making a breakfast burrito. Oh my god. Oh, somebody wants to go in their cage. Go. Go. You were just scratching on it to go. Go inside. Go. 
Go in your bed. Go in your bed. Okay, I don't have time. All right, I'm done making my breakfast. I got my breakfast burrito. Let me put it on the camera so y'all can see it. I mean, it probably doesn't look that presentable. I don't care. <laughs> I sauteed some green pepper, yellow pepper, and orange peppers. And then I added in some scrambled eggs with the veggies. I have turkey bacon. I added some green onion for a little bit of garnish. And then I have my habanero hot sauce. And yeah, that is uh, what we're eating right now. I'm excited. That was really good, by the way. Um, I forgot how hot this hot sauce is. My mouth is on fire. My eye is watering. And yeah, I'm going to um, do some emails. I actually woke up to like 3... I'll be back. I can. I was like, wait, I have a waist trainer. I've had this belt for like a year now, and I totally forgot I had it. I even bought the sweat cream, and I just stopped using it. I don't like the sweat cream because when I worked out in it, it made me itch so bad, and I'm not used to it. Like, it was just like, it was so annoying. But I was like, yo, I have the freaking belt. I spent like $90 on this order with the sweat cream, so I need to put it on. So I found it. So I'm going to wear this for the whole day, or... I don't know, for as long as I feel like wearing. I thought I wouldn't have been able to fit into the small anymore because it's tight, but... And the thing is, I'm actually not eating the greatest. Like, I don't eat a lot of junk food, but I eat a lot of carbs, which you guys know carbs are, like, the devil. Um, but usually when I start slacking and I'm not eating super healthy and I'm working out, my waist gets bigger. My love handles are back a little bit. However, like, my stomach is surprisingly flat. And I'm so I'm so thankful because typically that's the first place I gain my weight, I would say, and here as well. But yeah, this is what I want to look like on a regular basis without the waist trainer. Um, but I have the J Sculpt fitness belt and I wear a size small. Pretty sure I wear a size small. But yeah, let's start small. Baby steps. Waist trainer. <laughs> I I'm gonna comb my hair, I promise. Like, do I own a brush or not? Like, I am way too comfortable with looking like a bum on YouTube. Yeah. Right, Babushka? Babushka, you're so cute! Look at my baby. You need a groom, girl. She really does. She needs a grooming. You need a grooming. Say hey. Say hey, YouTube. Say hey. You can't even see. Hey, guys. So, it's the next day. Um, I didn't vlog when I got home because I came home to this. The bed was in there. I just took it out. I'm about to clean all this up. Shorty over here had a tantrum. This is the most, like, this is like, I can't even put this all back in the bed. And she actually peed on the bed. <laughs> like, she had a whole tantrum and shit herself. Like, actually shit herself. Like, not regular shit, like, diarrhea on the bed. So, um, yeah, she definitely has anxiety. Right before I go, is that shit? Oh my god, that's shit in the cotton. I'm just seeing this. Oh my god. Okay, it's not funny, but like, ew. Coco, man. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I'm about to clean this up. And, um, yeah, this bed is going in the garbage. You guys, this is a, such a nice bed that I bought for her from HomeSense with a, I don't even want to touch it, but a built-in blanket. Like, have you seen a dog bed with a built-in blanket? You have, you don't know the value of things, okay? I'm not buying you no more $40 beds, sis, if you just want to rip everything up. This is what she does with the beds at home, too, like her bed at home. My mom has to buy her new beds. My mom's like, just buy her beds from the dollar store. Like, sis, like, you don't want a nice bed? Like, am I going to have to start buying your bed at the dollar store? Is that what we're doing now? I try to hook you up nice, set you up good. Nice, comfy bed, and you want to rip it up and throw a tantrum? Is that what we're doing now? Hmm? Is that what we're doing now? No, no, I'm not talking to you. Yeah, so I'm gonna clean this up.
I will see you guys in a bit or later or whenever. But yeah, I got a lot of work to do right now. And cleaning. I actually just cleaned like the whole front of my apartment, spick and span. Um, clean, I'm throwing out like the packages I got from, not throwing out the packages, I'm throwing out the box that I got the packages in and just trying to clean up. So yeah, I'm just gonna take care of this mess. <laughs> I gave you guys no explanation as to what happened yesterday, but I went to uh, my friend Tanisha's grand opening for her wax bar called La Creme, La Creme, La Creme, La Creme, La Creme. Why I act like I can't speak French? La Creme wax bar. Um, it's actually funny because she's actually the one that introduced me to Fuzz Wax Bar, which is where I go now. You guys know I have a membership there. She put up a pose looking for people that wanted to get a free wax for her training because she just had just got a job there. So I'm, I went in with a friend. I brought Kiana and that's basically how we started going there because we got waxed there that first time. I was like literally like a guinea pig. Like it was so awkward. Like her just staring at my vagina. And the person training her is telling her where to wax on me and how to wax. It was so uncomfortable. But nonetheless, thank you, Tanisha, because that's why I now have a membership there. So it's so funny because I was talking to her last night and she's like, Yeah, I still see you going to Fuzz, eh? And I keep saying, like, oh, like soon, soon, like just now. Cause she opened up her own wax bar. So I mean, I'll probably just start going to her. I love my girl Giselle at um, Fuzz Wax Bar downtown on Queen. That's my girl. I would hate to leave her, but I mean, I'm definitely going to try out Tanisha's place as well once it actually um, opens. But yeah, anyway, so it's Super Bowl weekend. I'm running a little bit late. What's new? My girl Castillo is already downtown at a friend's spot. He's having a Super Bowl party um, in his penthouse condo. <laughs> so... Yeah, no. <laughs> I actually got invited to two parties. But I already know what I'm like, what to expect if I go to the other one. Well, it's gonna literally be like a house party. I'm not really in that mood anyway. Yes, I'm just letting this little one out. I okay, think so she's done. Come inside, my child. Come inside. I'll probably see you guys in the Uber or once I get there. How did you start getting sponsored? I will say the easiest thing to get at first is hair companies because they're always it's hair. Like they're always looking for people to sponsor their hair for a lot of them though they do try not to pay you but like it's just like yeah but it's more so about you like if they really want to work with you like they're gonna meet your budget but the thing is you have to tell them when you first start out on YouTube you don't really think hey like okay this is my raid you're kind of like oh free this free that you know so you kind of just yeah but as you establish yourself and you're yeah yeah, you're gonna be like, I'm sorry, I can't pay my bills with a bundle. Like, you know? Like. <laughs> you mean first of the month? Yesterday you couldn't just drop off a bundle? Yeah, exactly. Like, that's not gonna cut it. So. I just like having conversations with passengers. Oh, no, no, no. I love talking to, um, like, my Uber driver, especially when, like, it's really interesting. Like, you're cool. I think you're really cool. Facebook, all of Instagram. Yeah. Now, what's the thing is all about his money, and especially a lot of engagement and stuff on Facebook is dropping those business deals. Yeah. And be like, all right, y'all making too much money, we're making it up. Right? That's yeah, they're gonna, is, of course. Like, oh. and he's a real kicker. They're definitely gonna do that. They definitely are. Yeah. I'm actually vlogging right now. Do you wanna say hi to my vlog? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs>
love this bathroom. Okay, we're gonna go to the bathroom. I don't know how I could do it. Oh, stupid. <laughs> Sorry. Thumbnail. <laughs> okay. okay. Actually, how he met me, he like met me in the gym. He's like, oh, you're really cool. I'm like, I have a boyfriend. Like, like he had to hit on you. But, yeah, but he's like, oh no, I, I'm not like trying to hit on you. Like I'm just like, you just seem really nice. He was hitting on me. Or, like, Yo, what is happening? Okay, Coco. Good morning, my loves. I look like I'm in shambles, but anyways, today is a very special day because your girl's getting her nails done. Okay, I have been rocking at Nubs for two months. I literally got my, whatever the hell was on my nails, the short nails that I had, I told you guys in one of my Christmas vlogs that I was gonna get them removed. Y'all remember, frying bacon right now, by the way. <laughs> I'm making breakfast, but yeah, so I have a nail appointment. I'm really, really excited. Um, it's the girl that I have been wanting to book with for so long, and that's also why I removed my nails because most nail tags don't go over other people's work, so I have to come with like, you know, fresh nails, nothing on it. I'm really, really excited. I sent her a picture of what I want. I'm gonna show y'all. It's the rose quartz, quartz, quartz nail design. Um, it looks like this. It is so freaking pretty. My nose and my eyes are very puffy when I wake up in the morning. I think that's most people. I think that's normal. Um, please don't clock my closure. It's lifting. We will take care of that. I need to get my hair done. You guys know that Sean Legend. Or is it Sean or Chad? I'm gonna assume it's Sean because that would just make a lot more sense. Sean Legend on Instagram, and he does Heather Sanders nails. He does Kylie Jenner. He does Lala. He does Chloe. He he's the nail god in like LA. Like he's really really good. I've been following him for a while, and I know he charges a lot <laughs> to do nails. He's making a lot of money. But yeah, um, you guys know I'm very very basic. I rarely ever do designs. Like I've literally had maybe diamonds on my nails twice or three times in my whole life and that was definitely within the past two years i do not i'm not into that stuff i'm very basic i always do neutral colors so we're stepping it up a bit like you know like i gotta i gotta make a comeback i actually got used to it to the point where like i forgot to like i was looking at my nails and i was like hmm oh yeah i need to get my nails done and even my best friend was like sis like you still don't have your nails done so two months for me is Feels like eternity, bitch. Feels like fucking eternity. I'm gonna get my nails done today, and then I gotta come back home and shoot some content. Um, I mean, I can definitely say it because by the time this vlog is out, the content will be out. Your girl is working with Too Faced again on their Better Than Sex mascara. It's their international Better Than Sex day, so I'm working with them. I gotta uh, take some photos for them and caption and all that stuff. I'm really excited! <laughs> And my bacon is burning. I'm gonna have to lower this because like I just cannot stand to see my closure right now. But the nail tech that's doing my nails, by the way, her name is It's Cinderella on Instagram. She does my friend Grishona's nails. If you guys know her, Patra on Instagram and Grishona goes to her all the time. <laughs> I would much rather spend my money on, you know, black owned businesses. These Asian people like, I hope no one catches offense to that. But, like, these nail techs and hair store people are making so much money off of us. It's time to... So, I'm going to a black nail tech today. Okay. I totally ruined my omelet. You know, it's not the shape that I... Oops, that I prefer. But, either way, look at these peppers, this cheese, turkey bacon. I've been eating turkey bacon only now. Like, I'm actually over the pork bacon, which is really good. Because, y'all, honestly, I used to eat turkey pork bacon like every day when i first moved here so i have a buttermilk ego waffle i didn't feel like making pancakes today or i usually have bread like whole wheat bread or multi-grain bread with peanut butter and peach jam but i want to switch it up today because i've been eating that all week and then just have the berries blueberries blackberries and strawberries so i'm gonna eat this up and head to my appointment it's feet kills Original, pumping on me, high grade, sipping on me liquor. Girls, them I come, them I want, them I take up. But man, me, I come in, me, I wanna take up. Girls, them I come, them I want, in on the liquor. I steady sipping on my liquor. Then I tell her, me she give, I never trust another nigga. I say she give me on the nigga. Say she feeling on the nigga, say she run another nigga. I who's that? Baby, tell me who's that? 
Look back, baby, make ya look back. Ah, move that, where ya move that. Touch that, baby, me just wanna touch that. Enter me radar. Now you they mash up the place. Ah, enter me radar. Cause you are what see me radar. The only special one for me. Now you be the only one I see. Anywhere you go, I wanna be. Can you feel up my pants? Let's have a good time. Baby, I'ma make you swear. Let's have a good time. I just washed my hands. <laughs> Look at the shape. Especially this. Look at this. Now, this is tapered square. So we're gonna add the designs. I'm doing um, rose quartz. Yes, shape. I'm so excited. Let's have a good time. Baby, I'ma make you sweat. Pour me ya, say she give me pour me ya. In a ya, say she give me in a ya. Man a wine, say she give me dirty wine. Man a grind, say she give me dirty wine. Say them say my wine in every grind, I don't think so. Any man let me looking at the thing so Girl your body say your money while I sing so Man a bad man a bossing at the thing so Girl for me yard, see me for me yard Me na pill of wine, say she give me fill of wine Say let me the fill of wine, say she give me fill of wine Man a wine, say she give me for me yard, say Bro, I've shown y'all so many places. I tried some options. First, she did such a good one. Alright, guys, so I got my food. I got the roasted butternut squash ravioli with. Uh, honestly, I don't remember because this is a fancy ass place. As you guys know, the names are extra. But um, there's some crispy prosciutto on top some arugula and then I got a side of grilled tiger shrimp because it's a vegetarian pasta you know I need my protein <laughs> Hey friends, look at this, look what's happening to my face right now, like, I don't know what's going on here, but yeah, anyway, so, I'm at the mod, I'm gonna quickly go in and do my eyebrows, I'm gonna get my upper lip wax because <laughs> it's about time, and I'm actually meeting up with my management, and we're also gonna go to HomeSense, which is honestly, like, perfect timing, so that's literally what I'm doing right now, um, after we left that restaurant last night, y'all that ravioli that's the best ravioli i've tried like um <laughs> got my nails i got my dick grabbers yes honey i love my nails for me whenever i'm ordering meals i always have to have something that either has meat or cheese even if it has cheese like i need meat in it if it's not meat it needs to be like shrimp or some type of fish but i don't usually eat like pastas or meals with rice and stuff with no type of protein or fish or whatever because that's just the type of person i am i'm not into just all greens or all grains i'm not with that i ordered a side of grilled tiger shrimp i honestly didn't even need to i was so i wanted to give it back plus it was like 16 dollars um so i didn't even eat it like i took a few bites and i was like nah this is just fucking up my taste buds with the ravioli it's like not spicy but it has some type of spice or tanginess to it lots of seasoning oh my god it's so good it's really nice and cheesy and then like there's like that hint of sweetness from the squash you guys it is so good so if you ever go to a blue restaurant make sure you get the the butternut squash ravioli and if you do get it just let me know how you like it i promise you'll like it but if you don't like i'm sorry but yeah just let me know if you ever get it because like <laughs> yo that shit is so good i'm still thinking about it right now probably gonna run to the grocery store later just to pick up a few things that i ran out of like juice chips salsa i'm gonna go do my eyebrows customers here i already called to make sure she's here because i'm not playing with her ass 
I'm not playing with her. Oh, I like this coffee table. I came in here once. See, I want a black and white painting over my couch. I'm switching up my decor. Oh, really? Yeah. I like, really I like switching my decor every day. Wow. That's me. I'm over it, like everything. I really like the screen though, I'm not gonna lie. That's nice, huh? I've never seen a side table like this. Me either. It looks really nice. Yeah. That's a cute. What if we have like a purple like this in one shower? That'd be cute. Oh my god, I'm crying. This is the, uh, no way. This is the same night table I have. You're telling me? Oh, that's the bed. I was about to say. <laughs> but this is literally what I have in my bedroom. Literally what I have. I don't like anything over here. Like, this is not my vibe. I'm just curious to know how much this piece of art is. I'm gonna check how much this piece of art is. This is like exactly the size I need above my sofa. Like the little piece of art that I have right now, like I was originally supposed to get two other pieces to go side by side, but I honestly just, I'd rather have one, just one big piece of art on the wall. That'd be a lot going on. And honestly, I haven't found two other pieces to put side by side. So it's just like, you know, you don't want it to, I don't want it to be too much. I think one big piece instead of three small ones or three medium size. Um, wall arts or canvases would just be a lot better and easier but I feel like I could paint this myself I actually want to ask how much this is I know it's like $400 this is the one that's $100 it's $100? $100 yeah there's another one small $100? 100. Okay. it's huge that's a small that's a small we don't sell it for a model is it like do you have some in uh, stock though? we have to check usually Stock in the back, unless for example there's a consolation, we have to order everything. Shit. We okay, well, I mean, that's fine. That, that gives so me let me check. Let me check. That gives me time know. to look around. Y'all, this is $100. I really thought this, like, it's huge. I would think it would be like, I don't know. If this was at home sense, this would be literally be like $300. That's why I'm like, okay, while she checks that, I'm gonna continue looking around because I'm also looking at some office, some stuff for What are you looking for for the office? I hate you. Stop dancing. You might have one in the back. Can I see it? It will be exactly. I know, I know, but like, um, cause it's going above my couch, so I just want to see like how big is the item. Yeah. Okay, so I'll we'll try to bring or pull the uh, box over there so you can take a look. Mm -hmm. Um, just let me confirm. Okay. But I gotta look at rugs too. I need a new rug. We just left Struck Tube. I got my painting. Um, they literally just put it in her car because it cannot fit in my little SUV. Um, now we're heading to Marshall's and then Home Sense, and then we're gonna go for dinner. Like, ew. <laughs> I'm gonna, we're gonna go for dinner because like we're hungry. But like, hmm, who would have thought I would have found a painting today? I can't believe that painting is $100. Like, I know I could paint it myself, but it's huge. Like usually paintings like that are literally like three hundred dollars, so I'm just really excited right now. I still need a new rug, like, um, but there were literally no rugs in that store. They were all hide hideous, and they were actually more than the ones at Home Sense because they're like five hundred, six hundred dollars, and they're so ugly. So I'm so confused. Original, pumping on me high grade, sipping on me liquor. Girls, them I come, them I want, them I take up. Batman, me I come in, me I wanna take her. Girls, them I come, them I want in on the liquor. I steady sipping on my liquor. Then I tell her me she give her, never trust another nigga. I say she give me on the nigga. Say she feeling on the nigga. Say she. Want um, this girl peed on the rug, so I had to pour vinegar. Um, and then like soak it up and then now I have to add what is it baking soda and hydrogen peroxide I've done it before so I know like it actually works But I learned this from Google of how to get rid of pee stains from you know dogs Yeah, you But yeah, anyways, I've got my painting The struggle to get this upstairs was so crazy I actually went to the lobby expecting to have the little Ikea carts because that's what they use Look at her trying to sneak out go inside thank you um no where are you going miss i forgot like <laughs> i'm gonna look at some rugs online i all i can smell right now is pee and i just ugh. but i am so tired of this rug so i'm gonna get rid of that rug i'm gonna look online for a rug 
I'm gonna look for a chair. I already know the chair I want. I just didn't really want to spend like $400 on a desk chair. Um, so I'm just gonna like do some online window shopping, planning, and just kind of get the stuff out the way because like I need to like I need to get on with this decor. Good afternoon, you guys. I had a really productive day um, so far, and I also found a few things that I or found and figured out a few things that I'm gonna be getting for my apartment. Um, I found a bed set because um, I'm ready to switch up my bed set. I'm over the white pure look, and I want black. If you guys haven't been noticing, I've been adding a lot of black to my living room. I'm pretty sure I said this in one of my vlogs. Black pillows, black tray, black candles, black book. I just love black and I feel like it just adds a really nice, sleek, clean, modern, and cozy vibe, which I really like. I mean, who doesn't like black? Black, adding black to your decor, like, whoo, it just... It just does something. So anyways, I got the big black painting. I'm about to open that up. But um, yeah, so I figured out which bed set I want to get. I'm getting a duvet bed set. Black, obviously. And it's a velvet. Y'all know I love me some velvet. Um, and then I found bed sheets, which is like pretty simple. I'm just going to get them from... I was going to order them from Amazon. Then I was going to order them from Wayfair. I was reading all the reviews. And it was mixed reviews. Some of them are sheer. Some of them tear. People were saying that the elastic always comes off of, off of the mattress and there's nothing they can do. Which you guys know is the most annoying thing ever. So I was like, well, let me, let me check Ikea. So I checked Ikea. Found some $30 bed sheets. So there's actually an Ikea really close to where I live. Um, ooh, my braces are hurting the inside of my mouth. But Original, popping on me, high grade, sipping on me liquor. Girls, them I come, them I want, them I take up. Batman, me I come in, me I wanna take a Girls, them I come, them I want in on the liquor I steady sipping on my liquor So I actually ran out of um, How many I actually need for Or whatever you call these, the hooks um, I have one big one left And then I have one medium size One left I do have another one of these, however when I was putting up another wall art like a couple months ago, it bent in here, so I can't get this out, so can't use this one. The way you're supposed to hang this painting is they actually screwed two hooks on both sides of the painting um, to obviously put two hooks on the wall and hang it on both sides, but I don't have enough. But I'm really eager to see how it looks, so I'm just going to put this hook at the top because that's actually how I did most of my paintings but this is really um sturdy and honestly the painting as big as it is it's actually not heavy i know i lied <laughs> about that earlier it's just really big but it's actually really light surprisingly when i took it out the car i was like oh it's not heavy it's just really big and i'm small as hell so that's why i was struggling then i tell me she give i never trust another nigga i say she give me on the nigga say she feeling on the nigga say she run another nigga i who's that baby tell me who's that Look back, baby, make your look back. Ah, move that, way you move that. Touch that, baby, me just wanna touch that. And time you ready. Now you they mash up the place. Ah, and time you ready. Cause you are what's in me, brain. Ah, the only special one for me. Uh, now you. Okay, I mean, it's cute. I love it. It is kind of crooked. But, like. <laughs> I'm tired. There we go. Whew. <sighs> How does she look, guys? You like it? Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I think I'm just gonna put this over my office desk right over here for now. 